You ready to see who has the best fast food chicken nuggets? Yeah. Okay. So today, Stacy and I went out in this shelter in place town and uh, went to various fast food restaurant drive throughs and got some uh, black bags and some brown bags. Now, this is going to be, you know, one of those we're going to judge these, uh, what we think are the best to worst, so to speak, which ones we like the most as far as these go, rating them from 1 to 10 using decibels. <laughs> and uh, anyway, um, it, there's not as many of these actually as there was with the burger video. Mostly 100% because not many places actually serve chicken nuggets like you think they would. Like right off the top of the bat, I thought so many places serve chicken nuggets. No, obviously. Uh, so we've got five contenders today. We've got Cookout, we've got Chick-fil-A, we've got Burger King, we've got McDonald's, and we've got Wendy's. And we're going to try to see out of all of these which ones that we think are not only just the best, but the best for the price, because all of these are priced completely differently as well. And uh, yeah, we're going to see which one is the best chicken nugget out of the fast food industry. So I have had all of these chicken nuggets before. Um, I like this. It varies, but I would like to think myself a chicken nugget connoisseur. Maybe just the fast food connoisseur. I eat probably way too much fast food. On the other hand, Stacy has not mm -hmm. had all of these chicken nuggets before. I've only had Wendy's or McDonald's. I've never had Burger King, Chick-fil-A, or Cookouts. She's called Cookouts. Cookouts. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> uh, the thing is, I let her pick these in the order that we would go. So we're gonna start off white bags and go to brown bags, just like we did in the burger video. Or, well, I did in the burger video. She's here now, though. But, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and read these. We're going to start off with uh, Cookout. I've had Cookout nuggets a many a times. Have you had Cookout nuggets? No. So, another fun fact. We bought all of these about, it was a little while ago. So, they're all kind of cold. We're not putting them in the microwave. It, they're all to the point of where they came from, from the restaurant. These actually look really good. They look pretty good quality. Yeah, they really do. And uh, as for the pros of the cookout nuggets, uh, we got these with a meal because we actually ate at cookout today. And there's actually no information on here about how much they cost. So they're doing some deduction of natural selection on my receipt. Uh, reason to believe that they're between a dollar and a dollar ninety nine. I really don't know. That's my guess. Somewhere between uh, actually a dollar fifty and a dollar ninety nine, something like that. So go ahead and choose you a nug. And again, they're all in the same condition, so they it, smell really good. Yeah, they do. So there's no bossness here. It's just good old nug time. It's pretty good for a cold nug. Can you look on the inside? Yeah, I know. I've been off of it. <laughs> anyway, it looks like primarily all white meat, too. Yeah. They have a good char. Fun fact, at the end of all this, we're actually going to do a uh, little blonde taste test with Tasty, <laughs> Tasty? <laughs> with Stacy <laughs> to see how her taste buds hold up in all of this. They're still really juicy, too. Considering they're cold. Right? Yeah, I don't know if you can see that, too, but they are actually, like she said, pretty juicy. They're really good. We're finishing. Mm -hmm. So it's a base one, just chicken nuggets. And this is the chicken nugget one through 10 standard. I'm not gonna go too hot for it to be the first nug, mm -hmm. but I don't wanna go too low because it, it, I would have these again. I guarantee warm, yeah. they're really good. So I'm gonna go like six two. I'd have them again. They're not to brag about, but I mean, they're worth having again, you know? I'm gonna give it a 6 too, as well. I thought it'd be higher, they're warmer, like I said, mm -hmm. I've never had them before, but they're really good, cold, regardless. They have a good lingering taste in your mouth, too. Mm -hmm. Next nook. Mm -hmm. 
So moving on, we're going to go to the next SWAT bag. Your favorite little random eat more chicken. Eat more chicken. There's no cow on here, but there's a chicken. <laughs> Everybody, you, you, you watched cow and chicken when you were a kid, didn't you? So this is a cool thing about Chick-fil-A. If you've ever had their nuggets, you know that they don't just come in a random little paper bag like other places. They give you a little pocket, a little box pocket. I've never had Chick-fil-A nuggets. They give you a little box <laughs> pocket. That's cute. And they have that signature Chick-fil-A smell. This was one I almost didn't even want to do. I even told Stacy she had talked about maybe doing Chick-fil-A. And uh, I mean, look at it right off the bat. That's like real chicken. It's that's definitely not processed. It's like that that's not your average chicky nuggy mm -hmm. you're getting, you know, at the at the at the fast food place. I mean look at this thing. These don't have shape. This is just all natural. Yeah, these are chicken chunks that have been battered and cooked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> they shouldn't be in process. This is not even fair already. <laughs> look. There's no processed meat in there. It's real chicken. I mean, so is the other, but it's like a whole Real, chicken. real chicken. Mm -hmm. Like, you know. Yeah, this one. It's not even a fair competition. <laughs> they don't call it the Lord's chicken for nothing. That's really good. There's a reason they're not open on Sundays. Okay. I'm not being boss. I do like Chick-fil-A. This is like an 8-1. Go get you some Chick-fil-A nuggets. Don't even call them nuggets. Stop calling them nuggets. Actually, fun fact. I know it's Chick-fil-A, but when I ordered these, and this is why, I'm gonna explain right off the bat. When the woman asked me, cause they always ask you your name. So when I went through there, after I told her my name, she's like, what would you like to order? And uh, I said, I want some Chick-fil-A nuggets. <laughs> I often call it Chick-fil-A because you, you're already sitting at home, it's Chick-fil-A. I know it's Chick-fil-A, but they don't even spell filet themselves. So until I die, it's Chick-fil-A. <laughs> I'm gonna give it like an 8.5. Sounds good. Mm, really good. Definitely we're worth recommending. Yeah. Worth having again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> Unless you want to prank somebody, go bomb on Saturday and eat them somewhere on Sunday. Well, you can't do that right now. Quarantine yeah. yourself. <laughs> Stay inside. For whatever reason. <laughs> Unless you want some Chick-fil-A nuggets. Go get some. Unless it's Sunday. So I forgot to mention the Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets. Again, cookout was about a dollar fifty to a dollar ninety-nine. I'm still not really sure the exact price. Chick-fil-A nuggets, uh, a six piece will run you two ninety-nine, so a little bit more expensive. But you get what you pay for. Mm -hmm. Definitely a lot better. And this is another one Stacy's never had. Yeah. Right. Burger King nuggets, which they have the most absurd, other than McDonald's, jump in the processing. Uh, normally, out of all these, I got like a six piece. It's just kind of like I feel like the standard that you get when you go get some nuggets. But at Burger King, it's a four piece, an eight piece, and a twelve piece, mm -hmm. which was very odd to me. Big, big jumps, all by fours. And these are the cheapest out of all of them, costing 95 cents for a four piece. So they automatically look like a very processed chicken nugget. Mm -hmm. This looks like chocolate if I've ever seen it. They look good. They smell good. They look a lot like McDonald's. Mm, McDonald's has that more signature flaky crust. Well, this yeah. is more of a, a hard breading. Yeah. It smells good. Yeah. And again, this is the cheapest out of all the nuggets. Another first for Stacy. Hmm. Mm hmm. Dare I say better than cookout? <laughs> better than cookout. Random. I did not expect that. I haven't had a Burger King nugget in quite a while. Fun fact last time I actually had Burger King nuggets, they were actually crowns. Yeah, they actually used to do these crowns. Um, a few of you. Millennials out there, much like us, would maybe remember those. We ate Burger King a lot growing up. They got a bit of an aftertaste. They got some black pepper on there too. These have seasoning. And they're a bit gritty. I like that gritty. <laughs> oh, they got a little salt on there too. I'm gonna give it like a 6.8. Mm. It's good. 
gonna give it a six too, just because it has a strange aftertaste. So you like it as much as cookout? I guess so. I give it a six three. You jumping sports? Yeah, I'm <laughs> but um, a little better than cookout. Cookout was good. They're just kind of like they have a good cooked taste, but they're kind of bland. Yeah. Well, the Burger King I felt was just seasoned. Mm -hmm. So it was first brown bag down. <laughs> And again, those were the cheapest out of all of them. Let's move on. <laughs> Almost turned it off. <laughs> so moving on. These are the nuggets we all had growing up. The classic M, the classic arch, the <laughs> classic smell. Also comes in a box. Mm -hmm. You recognize it. Maybe you were five years old and you had your first one. Maybe you were two and you were cut up into pieces. Maybe you were like me and your mom had to take all the breading off for some reason because you didn't like it until you were about four years old. I was a weird kid. They were like better quality than the last time I had them. Fun fact though, I'm about to get a little handsy. McDonald's always has those random shapes. You got the random circle, the boot. I feel like we don't, I feel like we're missing a shape. We got like all boots. Oh, no, we got the lemon. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they've got these random shapes. It's something that all the other restaurants don't do uh, as far as they can go. I don't know why. No, that's the thing. They do look very different from Burger King. Yeah. They're definitely a lot bigger. Yeah. Yeah. So you've had these McDonald's. They will run you for a six piece, a solid. Two seventy-seven after taxes. Cheers. Boots up. <laughs> Classic McDonald's McNugget. Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> Childhood. It's nostalgia in a box. I don't like it better than Burger King though. Mm -hmm. I think I do like it better than Cookout though. Yeah, I mean Burger King's got that, they've got that salt, Burger King has that black pepper, and they're the cheapest, but there's a reason why they're the cheapest, well, they're still great, and I didn't think I would at first, I thought I liked them better than Burger King, but the, after I finished it, I can't go lower than a 7, <laughs> this is, it's at least a 7-1, I mean, I'd, go get you some of these, I mean I've had them in every condition of my life, I've had them sick, I've had them tired, I've had them when I wasn't hungry, mm -hmm. I've had them at 3 a.m. when I was looking for something in the fridge and this is all I found and it was glorious. Mm -hmm. This is the kind of food you get after going to the doctor and getting shots. You always get McDonald's. So it's like a comfort food. <laughs> it's, it's definitely, it's McDonald's. It's probably the most healthy, un unhealthy, I mean, out of all these. <laughs> oh, they're so healthy. It's like a carrot. That's how I um, like them. They're bad for you. <laughs> yeah, probably unconditionally the worst one for you out of all these. But not my favorite. Definitely better than Cookout and Burger King, though. Definitely recommendable. Definitely worth getting again. Yeah. Would I get tired of them? They eat too many problems. They sell them like a 20 piece, don't they? Yeah, that was a big jump too. That was like a weird thing at McDonald's. It goes from six piece to 10 piece. No, four to six to 10 to 20. 20, yeah, that was like a big jump. Yeah. Okay then. So four, six, 10, 20. But four, you can get 20 for like 10 bucks, can't you? I have no idea. It, oh. you, you can, they start getting pretty cheap at McDonald's. They're like, that's a meal in itself. Mm. Yeah. Especially if you got some sauces, which we didn't do. We got no sauces here. We're going complete street cold nugs. Mm -hmm. They're good cold too. That's really impressive. It's hard for food to hold up cold. Yeah, we talked about doing fries, mm -hmm. but I think that's what I'm going to have to do solo yeah, one day. Yeah, I don't. I don't eat cold fries. They're just nasty. <laughs> okay. I don't recommend. We've got one more. Mm -hmm. We're going to cleanse the old palates. We'll get back to it. Last one. Oh, uh, Dave's daughter, Wendy, out there. I, I'm sorry I smell these to anybody that like like just looks and wonders like why in the world I smell. I, I I can't help it. It's a thing me and her had a conversation before, 
I, I don't know if it's a man thing, I don't know if it's just a human thing, I'm just, I smell things before I put them to my mouth. Mm -hmm. So, last one, second, technically almost cheapest. Cookout, still debatable. Mm -hmm. Dollar seventy nine for a six piece of Wendy's chicken nuggets. Comes in the half box. Uh, this is another classic to me. Uh, I grew up eating a lot of Wendy's. My grandparents loved it. I love Wendy's. We eat Wendy's probably. Ah, there's no eating too much Wendy's. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, they use some solid looking nugs. Mm -hmm. McDonald's more as a kid, but now I'm older, I kind of like when he's better, but I haven't had their nuggets in years, so I'm just going to be a... Hmm, they gave us seven nuggets. Ooh, bonus. No, no, they gave us six. Oops. <laughs> okay. I feel like I'm going to love this. Mm -hmm. I love this. Mm -hmm. This is... <laughs> I don't know why I love it, but... It's got the same aftertaste as Burger King's, that kind of, kind of bitterish. I like that. I don't, I want to like that in my coffee. This is just... <laughs> the choco is just... I just want another one. Mm -hmm. I'm giving that a four five. I, I, oh, man, I'm... You're going to be surprised. Okay. It, That's just oily and unappealing. It, it's no seven. I'll say that because they lack a little flavor. Mm. But they're juicy. They are juicy. They're thick. Mm -hmm. That is like, I'm just going to rip one open so you can see. Like, look at this. It's thick and just ripping into it. Just, I mean, that, sure, it's processed chicken, but it's. It looks like good quality, though. Yeah, like really good quality. To be fair, if it was warmer, I'd probably like it more, but mm, it's just not my favorite. It's his. <laughs> I have to go back. It's not my favorite, but... <laughs> I'm gonna try one more. Like, I like it better than Burger King. I like it better than Cookout. don't like it better than McDonald's, and I don't like it better than Chick-fil-A. Um, I'm somewhere in the middle of it. I'm gonna give it like a 6-8. Oh my god, I'm so gonna give it a 4-5. It just doesn't have very much flavor in my opinion. Okay, so these were $1.79. Out of all of these, we both... There's no contest here. Like, I kind of figured it would happen, but there's no contest here. Mm -mm. It was kind of unfair for it to be a bad chick fil is the best. Do we get some Chick-fil-A nuggets? They're not that expensive. I mean, they're, they're the most expensive. But there's a reason why. They're good. They're good. I'm still surprised my did so well. And I'm a little disappointed that Cookout. I I was hoping and I was feeling strong about Cookout. Mm. I was Burgers feeling strong. Good, okay. So we've had the nuggies. <laughs> we've had the tasting. So we've got something else planned, a little game towards the end. I'm gonna switch it off the tripod and go a little hands-on with my my little selfie stick. And uh, we got a little game for you. <laughs> that you might enjoy that honestly I feel like it's gonna be a little bit easier than I thought it was gonna be at the beginning now that I've had them. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> We're gonna do a little test taste and see if Stacy blindfolded <laughs> can tell which one is which. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. As you can see, <laughs> Stacy cannot. <laughs> How many fingers will I hold now? Not close. I don't. I don't see how that's an option. I only got one. Oh hand. yeah, I was just thinking that too. <laughs> yeah, no. But anyway, as I said, what we're gonna actually do is we are going to blonde taste test Stacy's taste buds to see if she can tell which nug is which. And I'm gonna try to play a little trick ski on her as we go right off the bat. I'm gonna get these all set up. Sorry, that camera was very close to my face. <laughs> I'm gonna have all these set up so I can just reach in and grab it. Are you gonna know what's Yeah, how am I not gonna know? I don't know. I'm just pouring them all in the bag right now. That way I can just reach in and grab them. And that way you can't hear me doing anything in the background. This is very disorienting. It's fun. <laughs> So 
also more than plus about all of this is most people were wearing gloves while we were out and about. I mean, I wish that everybody wore gloves before the pandemic hit, but you know what? Now they are, and that's a plus. So, what do you think about going on one of these journeys today and getting out there and getting a bunch of random fast food all at once? Yeah. No, I'm asking. I'm asking Choco. <laughs> she said it was quite the experience. Oh, sorry. You can only imagine. Okay. Everything's in a bag. Mm. Mm, shake it around. Wait, I can't touch them, right? No, this is all me. <laughs> okay. Here we go. First one, first. That can't right. <laughs> it's okay. We all know. Good old. I want to go first. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to make it perfect. <laughs> yeah, let's do this one first. Okay, open mod. I'm not going to shove the whole thing in your mouth, so don't worry. <laughs> you want me to tell you? Yeah or no? Or yeah. wait till the end? Tell me yeah or no. Nope. Yeah. Mm. I told you it gets mixed up. They taste so similar. Ugh. That aftertaste, though. Okay. Here's the next one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ready? Mm-hmm. Open your mouth. Water. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you just smelled it. You didn't even taste it. Yeah. We've got that signature smell. Oh my god, though. <laughs> Ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> there was no contest. So. Oh <laughs> you got three out of five right? <laughs> I thought about switching it up and giving you another Wendy's. <laughs> I didn't do it though. I wasn't that evil. That Burger King threw me off until I got to the end. So hands down. Chick fil A is the best. Yeah. I told you, they, they, they should have not even been in the tally. But be that as it may, they are nuggets. Mm -hmm. Maybe sometime soon we'll do chicken tenders. That seems to be Most the common. standard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Most people want chicken tendies these days. They don't want their nuggies. Or chicken bites, which is just popcorn chicken. Yeah, that's something on its own as well. There's no popcorn chicken versus chicken tendies and there's no nuggets versus chicken tendies and there's no nuggets versus popcorn chicken they're all different so did you have fun yeah it was really fun you feel like we just had a bunch of fast food nuggies yeah <laughs> don't recommend but i kind of do <laughs> yeah it's fine on its own way maybe just go get the chick-fil-a you know but it was fun thank you for watching did you have fun yeah I had fun. and uh next time i don't know what it will be next but we're going to switch it up, maybe have a few more choices. Again, I thought way more places actually sold chicken nuggets than what they actually do. Other places have different chicken standards, and mostly all of them are chicken tenders. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
I, I feel like that's just a video all on its own. Mm -hmm. But thank you so much for watching. And hopefully you had fun too. And hopefully we just helped you and possibly your girlfriend decide where you're going to go eat next time. <laughs> Uh, we'll see <laughs> as far as that goes. Uh, leave a comment. Which one is your favorite nugget? If we didn't have it, tell us about it. Uh, I'd like to know if there's other places that have nuggets out there. We tried to do a little research on other places, and these are just the only five, actually, that we could find in the fast food industry in our area. Mm -hmm. Maybe you've got something in your area that maybe they have their own version of the, the chicken nugget out there. But thank you so much for watching. Be sure to, again, leave a comment, maybe which one is your favorite out of all these, or if you maybe like Chick-fil-A, or again, maybe there's another nugget in your area that we are just unknown of. <laughs> and, uh, you know, be sure to lock. Mm -hmm. Subscribe if you haven't already. We'll be doing a lot more of these Tasting with Tom's videos. And again, when I do the fries, I'm gonna be so low. She doesn't like cold fries. And sadly, at the end of all these, unless you do it right in the parking lot, they're gonna be cold. There's just no way around it. And we didn't microwave anything here. We didn't want anything to be compromised as far as, you know how the microwave gets. You'll have a crunchy fry, you put it in the microwave, it comes out soggy. And then it works the same way with nuggies, uh, or nuggets. I can't not call them nuggies now. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching and uh, hopefully you can catch me again. I'm gonna be back to the streams tomorrow. I'm gonna possibly try to do another week long vlog throughout the week. Uh, maybe you can hear Chocobo back there LARPing some more water up next time as well. <laughs> and uh, again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time. Take it easy.